Hello and welcome to this Concord release video. We are excited to be introducing two new features to the Concord program. I'll first show you how these features work rather quickly, and then after that, I'll go into a more detailed explanation of how you can use these features in your use of Concord. The first feature is in the List Manager, and it's the Sort Options menu. When you click on the Sort Options menu, you can select from four different sort options. The second new feature is within the list. So if you open up a list, you'll have the option to sort the citations within your list according to book order. So if you go to the three horizontal line menu and choose sort list by book, you can automatically, with the click of a button, resort the citations in your list according to book and page order. Let's go back to the list manager and talk more about sort options. There are four different options for sorting the lists and folders in the list manager. So I'll click on the sort options menu and you can see we have name sort which is sorting your list and folders alphabetically. We have a new sort option which is called date created with this option, you can sort your lists and folders according to the day that they were first created. Date Modified will show you the last time that you made a change in a citation, you added a text box, or you moved citations around your list. You can think of it as a most recent sort. And then the final sort is a custom sort, where you can move around lists and folders however you'd like. To activate name sort, I will click inside the circle to the right of name. And you can see that when I did that, my lists were sorted from A to Z. Now a new feature we added was the ability to reverse alphabetically sort your lists and folders. So you go back up to the sort options, and to the right hand side is an A to Z icon. And if you click on that, it will change the order in which your lists and folders are sorted. Additionally, we heard from customers that they have so many lists and they would like a better way to navigate them. And so we've actually added the option under Sort Options to sort your lists in a grouped sort. And I'll make it go back to alphabetical. And now you can see in the List Manager, it has all the first letters of my list and folders names. And so if I click on the A drop down, it'll show me all my list and folders that begin with the letter A. If I click on the F drop down, it'll show me my list and folders that start with the letter F. The next sort option is Date Created. As described earlier, Date Created allows you to see your list in the order of most recent to oldest created. So you can see the different dates to the right of your list name. And so these will appear from most recent to oldest. I can do a reverse order by going back up to sort options, clicking on the clock icon, and it will reverse the order. If I click on date created grouped, it'll group my list and folders according to the month that they were created. So if I want to see which list and folders I created in September 2023, I can click on the drop down menu and I can see those lists. The next sort option is date modified. Again, date modified allows you to see the last time you made a change in your list. And so instead of the date created, it will display the last time your list was changed or edited. So you can see now the dates to the right of my list titles appear a little bit differently. And this shows the most recently modified list to the oldest. Again, if I want to go in reverse order, I can do that by clicking on the clock icon. And if I want to go to group sort, it also will group my list and folders according to the month that they were last modified.
The final sort option is a custom sort. To add a custom sort, you can click on the plus icon to create a new custom sort. It'll give you the option to type in a name for your sort. I like to do just custom. You can click new sort. And when you do that, you can see your custom sort is named and it's been activated. And so now when I minimize the sort options menu, I can rearrange my list and folders however I'd like. If I want to move favorite hymns up towards the top of my list manager, I can click and hold with my mouse and then drag them waiting for that green drop zone to appear and then release. If I want to move Sunday Scripturals down to my Bible Lessons folder, I can click and hold and move it right above and then release. So your custom sort will remember this order and you can customize it however you'd like. Next let's open up a list and we'll check out sorting citations within that list by book order. So I'll open up my list titled Peace and you can see my citations in this list are in a random order and let's just say I was adding lots of citations from the search results and now I'm ready to take a deeper look at them and I want them to be in a, a book order. I want to see my Bible citations at the top then science and health citations and then my citations from the hymnal. I can go to the list options menu click on sort list by book again it will ask me if I'd like to do this I can confirm that by clicking resort my list and it will do a one-time reshuffling of my list so that it's in book order. Sorting your citations by book order will also sort them by page order as well. And so for books like Science and Health, it'll show it in page order. Let's go back to the list manager and I'll show you another way that you can sort your citations by book order. I'm going to open up my list, Love Thy Neighbor. And again, you will see that my citations are in a random order. If I go back up to the list options menu, but instead of clicking sort list by book, I choose edit list. The second option down for editing my list is arranging the citations by book. And if I turn this on by clicking on the drop down menu and then choosing done, it'll ask me to confirm I do want to arrange the citations in my list by book. And to notice that it does that just like it did with the other version of the feature. But this time, there's a little book icon to the left of the citation. This lets me know that I'm in an arrange by book view. And so I cannot drag and drop and move around my citations at this time. However, if I add a citation to my list, like this one from Genesis, if I click on the three dots and add it to Love Thy Neighbor, it will be inserted correctly right into book order, right there at the top. If I add a citation from Science and Health, it'll be added in the right place. If you're happy with your list and you're done viewing your citation in this book order, you can turn this feature off by going to the List Options menu again, choosing Edit List, and then Arrange Citations by Book off. Then choose Done. And when you choose done, you can choose whether or not to make this book order your current order or to revert back to your previous order. So if I click on previous order here, it'll revert my list back to how it was prior to turning on the arrange by book feature. And you'll notice that the two citations that I added while that feature was enabled were added to the very bottom of my list. We encourage you to play around with these features. Let us know what you think. You can always contact us with questions or comments at concord at cspscom and we'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you for using Concord and happy studying.